Hello, my name is Rachel and I'm here with the Marks Group Live um, to teach you how to deduplicate data in the Zoho CRM. Um, please feel free after this video is over to go ahead and rate us. This will help other Zoho users find us um, and get the help that they need to learn how to do things in the program. It'll also help us at Marks Group Live improve our video library. Um, if after the class you have any questions or concerns, you can always feel free to reach out to us via email. Um, the email's at the bottom of this video. It's support at marksgrouplive.com. Um, send us a question. One of our trainers will get back to you ASAP to help you with uh, whatever Zoho question you have. Okay, let's get to class today. Um, so today what we're going to go over are these three takeaways. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about why you might deduplicate data in, in Zoho. Um, I'm going to teach you how to deduplicate data for a specific record. And then I'm going to teach you how to run um, a deduplication on the entire module to clean, clean it up um, and get rid of any data that might be um, duplicated. All right, so let's get to it. Here we are, oh, let me see, here we go. Here we are at our Zoho main homepage. Um, you can deduplicate data in almost any of the modules. Today we're gonna work in the leads module. Um, that's just where we have the most sample information loaded in. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the leads module. And you know, I wanna talk for a second about what it, what it is to deduplicate data. Um, so it is exactly what it sounds. If you see that there are records that might be the same, um, you will want to deduplicate them, merge them together. Um, so you do not have duplicate records in your module. Um, you know, sometimes if people are signing up for information on your website and you have that, um, you know, you have that information go directly into your Zoho account. Sometimes information can be put in there twice. Maybe you put in information from, you know, a trade show and you have someone give you information that's already in your system. Um, or, you know, maybe you're just importing data and things are, are duplicated. Um, Zoho makes it very, very easy to deduplicate that data and have a clean and streamlined info. So, um, as you can see here at the top, there are two Rachel Soshas. Uh, that's me. I'm going to teach you how to just deduplicate that one specific file. So maybe you're going through, you know, your files. You see, oh my goodness, there's two of the same person. I'm just going to click on one of those names. And then up at the top, you see send mail, convert, edit, and the dot, dot, dot menu. I'm going to click on that dot, dot, dot menu. And uh, find and merge duplicates. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and find and merge any duplicates of this record. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it will give me some options of what we want to merge. Um, so the first thing is you can choose if you want to match all of the criteria below or any of the criteria below. I like matching any of the criteria. That way, um, if there are some things that are different in the data, um, which is often does happen when you are merging two documents or two records, um, maybe the address is a little bit different, maybe the phone number is a little bit different, um, that way it will merge based on um, a bunch of different you know, information. So I'm going to go say match any other criteria below and I'm going to click on the search button and it will take me down to the uh, <clears throat> to the matching records. So I see here there are three Rachel Soshas, but only two of them are the company XYZ bo uh, books and two of them have the same email. The other one has a different email and a different company. So I'm just going to assume that is a record with someone with the same name, but not the same record that I want to duplicate, deduplicate. So I'm going to go ahead and click on those two XYZ books, and I'm going to click Next. So 
by default, whatever the first record listed is the actual record that is record one. Um, but what they do is they will show you what information is in both records. And if there's ever a discrepancy, if there's different information in any of the records, you can select what you want. So in this case, record one has an address and record two doesn't have an address. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick with record one and all the information in there because I want my record to be as complete as possible. If there was something in record two that you wanted to keep, you could go ahead and click on that. But I'm gonna keep all my information as record one. I'm just gonna scroll down to make sure there's nothing else. And I'll go ahead and merge these two. So this gives you a warning. There's very few things that are warnings in Zoho, um, but the reason they give you this warning is because once you merge two records, you cannot unmerge them. So I'm gonna go ahead and merge. And it brings me back to the matching pages. And look, those records have gone away. There's still the TMG live company and the XYZ books, but we decided those are two different people, same name. And here we are. All right, so that's how you do a deduplication of one specific data, or one specific um, record. Uh, now I'm gonna show you how to deduplicate the entire module. So maybe you're going through and you see multiple um, of the same record and you're like, I just wanna run a cleanup, get everything streamlined. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the dot, dot, dot of the main module page. And down here at the bottom, it says deduplicate leads. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. So you can select fields that you wanna identify the duplicate leads. So this is similar to what we did before, um, the matches with, um, you, can, you can choose email, company, phone, or mobile. Um, so this will, any fields with the same email, if you choose that, they will choose to deduplicate. Any um, records with the same company, they will choose to deduplicate. Any record with the same phone, any record with the same mobile. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check email because quite frankly, you can have a couple of leads from the same company. And often if you have a couple of leads from the same company, maybe they have the same phone number. Um, but email is pretty specific to the same person. So if you have one, you know, three leads with the same email, I'm gonna go ahead and make a guess that those are the same people and you wanted to duplicate them. So I'm gonna go ahead and find and merge duplicates. So what this will do, it will run a check on all of the leads and it will automatically merge any records that are exactly the same. Um, any records that aren't the same, it will go ahead and resolve conflicts like in the page that we had before where you have the two different records and you can choose what information you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with that. This usually takes a few minutes. I doubt it will take very long because there's not many, very many records, but I will go ahead and say, uh oh, okay. And as you can see at the bottom, a few duplicate leads with pop-up, uh, uh, with conflicts were found, and I'm gonna go ahead and resolve them right now. If you have a lot of records in your um, module, it might take a few minutes. That only took a few seconds. All right, so here are all of the leads. I'm gonna go ahead and view. Chuck it ABC ball bearings. Let's see what's different. Oh, there's a phone number that isn't in the other one. But everything else seems to be the same. So I'll go ahead and merge. I understand, merge now, we got the same warning. Let's see, scroll down. We'll see what's different. The description is both the same. Do you wanna keep the description? Yes. Let's see what else, oh, that's the one thing. I'll go ahead and merge those files. Let's see, Suzanne. 
So the description is the same. I, I'm assuming they want you to merge and keep the description. You can't really delete it, but I'll merge that. Let's see. Now the phone numbers are different for mobile. This is interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the 222 number because this 555 number is the same for the regular phone number. And then we have two different Twitter accounts. And I'm gonna choose the record one because I just happen to know that you can't have dashes in your uh, Twitter account. So I think that this is uh, wrong. Merge that. And we have one more here. This one has an address that the other one didn't have. And I'll go ahead and merge there. I think it's always good to take a look and make sure that everything is exactly how you want it. And there you have it. All of your duplicate leads are merged into one. And it is nice, everything is looking neat and clean and ready for you to do business with. So, you know, again, you want to deduplicate your data if you see multiple of the same records in a module, and this is just a helpful way to streamline all of your information. Um, you know, you can deduplicate data from one specific record that you see, or you can deduplicate the data in the entire module. Um, and you just do that by going to the dot, dot, dot menus and clicking in either merge, uh, duplicate records or you click on deduplicate data. So that's what I have for you today. Um, again, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to us. Um, you can email me directly at rachel at marksgroup.net or you can always email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. The support email goes right to one of our trainers. Someone will get back to you ASAP. Um, and I really appreciate you taking the time uh, to join us today, check out our archive for other videos that, um, you know, about all topics of Zoho and Zoho One. And uh, I hope you have a good one.